Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we shall discuss about lucky color, lucky number. These two are very frequently asked in the comments. Will this color or this number change my life? <laughs> so for example, I'm wearing red. So will wearing red or green or yellow, blue, white, black change my destiny? Mm -hmm. Interesting, very interesting topic. It could and it may not. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, we shall discuss a bit from astrology and numerology here also. So many times people think that uh, this is concept of Argyodai. Argyodai means, uh, I don't know how they, the modern materialistic people uh, define Bhagyodai. Now, there can be different definitions of Bhagya there. For example, somebody may say, Oh, for me, having a nice job is like my Bhagya that has started. It's like my luck starting to bloom. Somebody may say, Oh, I have a good job, but I uh, am not able to get married. So then, for me, getting married and having a family may mean that uh, my Bhagya that has started. Somebody may say, Oh, I have a job, I have a spouse, but I don't have children. So that's when my Bhagya that will start. So there could be n number of definitions of Bhagyodai depending on the person, the nature, desh, kalpat, time, place, circumstances. What is Bhagyodai now could may not be Bhagyodai after 20 years or what was Bhagyodai 20 years back may not be Bhagyodai today. So that's a separate topic. Okay? So why do I say Bhagyodai? Because the word lucky color, lucky number is associated with this. Okay? Now, Actually, what happens, I'll tell you. Sometimes people say that, okay, I purchased this car and my life became hell. Or my career started shooting up when I got married. Have you heard people say, sometimes people always say, oh, jab, uh, jab ye pada hua mera, ye beti pada hui, to mera career ukar gaya, niche gaya. Something like this, they will say. Have you heard of it? People are saying, yeah, when a child is born, then, you know, there's downfall in career or there's growth in career. So now, even sometimes people think that if you keep a pet in home, they'll say that, oh, from the time this pet has come, my life has changed. Okay. So there's nothing like this that, uh, as per astrology, I'll tell you, scientifically what happens is, uh, there's nothing like, uh, if you get married, then your career will go down or it will go up. There's nothing like this. Okay. Or if you have a, child then it will happen automatically up or down no it's not like this what actually happens is sometimes when your mahadasha changes or your antar dasha specifically antar dasha i would say then uh, two things two events are simultaneously indicated so for example if a person gets married then suppose his mahadasha indicates antar dasha or mahadasha indicates the seventh house and it also indicates the tenth house and eleventh house and suppose it is a big, big maha, long Mahadasha like Venus and Saturn, for example. So Venus, Mahadasha, Saturn, Antardasha. Now, if Saturn is indicating marriage and career progress, then what will happen? The moment this person gets married, because the same, the, in the same Antardasha, both the events will happen. So then what happens? The person thinks, oh, the day I got married, you know, because when he looks back, he sees, okay, career promotion and then this, uh, my marriage, my wedding. Uh, was linked actually. So now, generally people don't get uh, married very frequently. It could happen in Kali Yuga, but in general it does not. So then this is one event which that person remembers. Oh, 2010, yes, I got married. That was the year when I got this big promotion. I got a job in Google or Facebook, Microsoft, Amazon. Mike is going down. <laughs> so uh, the thing is, um, in such situations, what happens is, that event everybody remembers and then they try to correlate their uh, so-called bhagya that like this. So the similar thing happens, something similar happens with lucky color or lucky number. Okay. So for example, uh, sometimes people will uh, take some mobile phone or you know, SIM card and then uh, they will say, oh, my SIM number was, you know, like 886331, something like this. So then they will say, oh, it sums up to be five. Okay. So that means five is lucky for me. Okay. So actually what happens is, uh, it, it's actually the other way around. So, so for example, if somebody has 
uh, now you, how you can use this actually is so if if you want certain things in your life okay so for example if you want progress in career then you should check uh, which planet is the best for your career okay now that is a whole different analysis how to do that's not the point of this video but once you figure out the best planet for your career Best planet does not mean without any challenges, but best planet means the net gain is more than the loss. Okay, either you are going up, 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 or even if you are having downfall, but the net growth is upwards. That's the meaning of uh, the best planet in your horoscope for career. So once you identify this planet, then you should wear clothes or you know you should keep uh, the things that this planet signifies around actually. Okay. So then what happens is you will be able to enhance the energy of this planet. So for example, suppose uh, if Mars is excellent for your career, okay? Now again, I have many videos on career and wealth and name, fame, power, position and all this. So please watch them because now you will write in the comments that, oh, how do you know which is the best planet? So that's a different video altogether. But once you identify, so for example, if Mars is good, then what you could do is, uh, Yes, you can. Um, you can wear red. You can wear the stone of Mars. Okay, you could. Uh, whenever you take a business trip, make sure you take it in the month of September. Or if that's too much, it's that if that's too late, or because Mars is nine. Or you can take it on the ninth of any month. Okay, or twenty seventh or eighteenth. This is how you can use lucky color, lucky number. Okay. Similarly, if you are searching to get married, then you. Find out which is the best planet for my marriage, which is the planet that signifies these houses, 2nd, 7th, and 11th, okay, primarily. Once you figure that out, then you see which, uh, which numbers are represented in numerology by that planet. So if, suppose, um, moon is the best planet for you when it comes to a marriage and you're looking to get married and you're unable to find, find a spouse, then, um, then the, these dates are important for you because moon is number two. Then 2, 11, or you know, 29th, these days, they, dates are important. Or month of February is also important for us. So uh, that's how you know actually uh, that which could be my lucky color, which could be my lucky number. Okay. And uh, yeah, it, it works always, I have seen. And when you are running a good dasha, good dasha means a plant is good for a particular area of life, and the antar dasha of that plant has started. Then automatically, I have seen you start wearing clothes related to that planet. You, know, you start uh, getting associated with these numbers. It happens automatically, right? So therefore, don't just blindly go for some you know luck, fancy lucky number or something like. You should you should first check which planet is good for that particular event of life. Okay, because always remember, planet may be very good for one area of life but it may be very bad for some other area of life, okay? So therefore, let us give, give a, let me give you an example. So the planet in the 10th house can give you divorce. Yes, 10th house is the house of divorce also because it is the house where the court puts a stamp legally that yes, you are now separate. But now that same house could be a great house for promotions, okay? So depending on what you want in life, what you value in life, your lucky number and your lucky color could change as per the event and the dasas okay so for example uh, if you feel that uh, you uh, now let's talk of the 10th house if you feel that uh, due to some reason emergency you need to uh, get money due to sustaining yourself or your some family member or some responsibility that you have and you know you are on the verge of serious trouble or maybe on the verge of death you need you just need money then maybe, even though it is bad for marriage, you might activate the 10th house like that. When you see that this plant is good for the 10th house. So that's different. That's like a worst case scenario. But in general, you should not do like this. You should not create imbalance in one area of your life to uplift another area of your life. That is not very good because then the overall harmony in your life goes down and you end up becoming more and more unhappy. Okay. So that uh, should not be done in the long run. And eventually, if you, even if you are doing it, you should give it up. Okay? So don't uh, focus on short-term things. Focus on long-term. Okay? 
So therefore, long story cut short, identify the planets which are good for these particular events. And when you feel that now is the time I need to activate this area of my life, I need to get into this venture, okay? then you activate that planet. Okay? Where the clothes related to that planet, the color, the number, and I do all this. Only then you will understand. But in and the dasas are also important, okay. And but in general, you, you should not be so much generic and say, oh, you know, Mercury is in my tenth house, so I will always wear green, or Saturn is in my you know eleventh house, I will always wear blue. You should not say like this because your dasas may be different, and then. There's so many other factors and principles which you, know, you should consider actually, okay? Before identifying uh, which planet is good for what, okay? So that you can know if you watch my Astrology Basics videos and OMG Astrology Secrets playlist and all other videos in Exotic Astrology. But this video is to tell you that be very careful when you select your lucky color or lucky number. Don't think that there's one magic number, there is one beautiful color which if I wear, everything changes, okay? So nothing, so lucky color, lucky number does not change your destiny. They just reflect your destiny. Okay? They will just reflect, okay? So if Mars is good, as I said, like if you wear red, then maybe uh, your uh, your life will improve. But then why are you wearing that that time? Because that planet is motivating you to do that, okay? Well, now you could say, well, then anyways, the planets are doing everything. What should we do? Should we just do nothing? No, just uh, harmonize with the energy. All right. So once you know the planet and that area of life, then go ahead. All right. That is all from my side. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation from me, my website is also down below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him.